on another note, rental crisis. You know, I've been talking to folks out here renting houses, renting apartments, and rent's going up by $400 at a time, and that's causing folks to be homeless, man. Yeah. yeah. When is the city going to step in and say, hey, you can't rent uh, above this price because it's causing people to be homeless and kick indoors and rob and kill people? When is the city step in for that? I think that's I think that's a big part of the problem. Yeah. Um if you if you're looking at a global city and we want it to be as such, and when I say we, I mean the powers that be. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of this is collateral damage, man. Uh, a lot of people being displaced and having to move to Clayton and, and further and further out is collateral damage. Mm. Um, that's why you don't see a lot of people addressing the root cause. It's because a lot of that stuff starts in the home, man. Mm-hmm. Um, in a perfect world, man, and, and I think honestly with me, I, why I've been so low key is the more, the deeper I go, the more I understand that it's going to take a lot more of us coming together than than what we see. Mm-hmm. Like this, a, a lot of stuff that we, we've been putting our energy into is not going to produce fruit. This entertainment shit that we, we all – see, I can – I've been working so hard, I can afford to – do certain things under the entertainment umbrella. But for certain people, it's a distraction. Mm. What do I mean by that? Who can even afford to go to Falcons games to, to afford PSLs when we got a recession going on? We can't afford the normal. Go to the club. The, the club to park. To I hate it for my single Single dudes out here. Yeah. You date multiple women. Good luck. <laughs> you better be a baller. The reason the reason I'm here is because I even when I was up, I stayed below my means. Oh man, you see what I'm saying? So guess what? If 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 I'm showing you anything, which really I barely leave the goddamn house. When you when I come on here, this really like <laughs> <laughs> I work and I cool out and I raise my kids. But but on a serious note, I think it's this attention thing with this. Social media, the attention will make your game banger. Yeah. Say, you know what? I ain't trying to do this crime. Even though I'm I'm hungry and I'm dusty, I'm not just gonna do this crime and just feed my family. I got to show that I'm the one that did it. Uh, it's like it, it like everything the clout. The clout. Do y'all understand this whole life is a trap? This whole life this whole system is a trap. They got B. Let's go one step further. I'm with you. How many songs said, I'm in the trap, I'm in the trap. They yeah. got us screaming out that we oh, are spare. glad that we are in a booby trap. A goddamn trap, okay? I remember being young and yeah. when the gas was 89 cents to 99. <laughs> Even if I wanted to go holler at a girl out in Latonia, yeah. okay? Yeah. It was a big deal to leave outside of 285. That's right. So how in the hell... For people who can't afford to leave out two at a five, how you gonna get a plug? Where do a plug come from if it ain't a trap? Yeah. You're allowed to do whatever illegal shit until they ready for your ass to go. Yeah. And I think that's the thing. This social media and attention mixed with we study your community more than y'all even understand. So we're gonna set these booby traps. We're gonna incentivize the folks who gonna keep making the music saying, I'm in a trap, bitch. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a whole system. It's a whole game. And most of us don't even know we getting played on. And then when somebody come and tell you the fact that you getting played on, you kill them. You use that energy to crucify the messengers, man. What you just said, I figured out it light bulb hit me in my head right when you were saying what you said. And I know how you avoid the trap and how you keep from getting fucked up. Is living below your means. Yeah. But living below your means is anti social media. It's it, anti It's like anti this whole. I ain't gonna lie. I had to duck and dodge it a little bit myself. Because, boy, me and Slim, my wife, whew, we were gonna go a few years back. We was gonna go buy in a state. We was gonna go yeah. buy a compound. 
<laughs> and I looked at her. She looked at me. She said, "How you feel?" I said, "I feel like we don't need it." Yeah, because the house we in got love. Come on, our kids are happy. What I mean, like, how many people do I have over at my house anyway? Come on. So why do I need? Eight thousand square feet. Now it's, it's cute to have if I'm a show off person, but exactly. go look at my Instagram. I don't show you. No, I don't do nothing but work and raise my kids. Well, guess what? If you show it off, folks will come in your house and rob you blind. So what's the point? So in order to avoid the traps of America and the system and the ghetto as well, <sighs> live below your damn means. Oh my God! And, and some, and, uh, let me get in here. Some ahead. folks will be like, I'm deprived of myself. <laughs> I'm not going to not have all the finer things in life, so I can't not. No. Well, guess what? When they come running in your damn house, whooping your ass and robbing your ass blind, you going to have an issue. Guess what? When you can't afford to keep none of the shit you done bought because of recession, Real. you going to have an issue. Yep. And when you find out you can't take none of that shit with your ass anyway. Because it's harder to, to the maintenance on everything is harder than to actually obtain it, to keep it all. Mm -hmm. A lot of people save face and, and lose their mind, lose their sanity. This the only reason I'm not gray and bald is because it ain't that serious. Yeah. It ain't that deep. Come on. It ain't that goddamn deep. 